sharing with individuals, as I showed you just a moment ago, is not as practical when you have larger teams. If you have a dozen or more engineers, you will want to create teams that make it easier to share with those larger groups. Um, and the reason I mentioned this is, again, sharing with individuals is fine when the group is small. But as the group gets larger, and if I have 20 engineers and I have five that are industrial designers and five that are electrical engineers, I may want to create different teams that reflect those different uh, positions and then use that as the sharing mechanism for sharing my document. And this just simplifies the whole process because, again, I'm not typing in individual names. So in the share dialog, you'll see a Teams tab and you can start typing in teams. And in this case, I can add the engineering team, for example. This is just a, a faster mechanism for sharing with a larger audience. I'd recommend, so you, here's where you share with the teams, you just click share. As an administrator, create the teams under your company, right? So under enterprise settings, in this case, I have teams. I can create my company level teams here, right? Just by clicking create team. And if I go into one of these, let's go into engineering, I can find all the people that are in that team and I can add users to it. So this is where as an administrator, I'd recommend creating the teams for your company. So that is tip number two, using teams.